Uh, do you know what time it is? 12.30. No, it's mail time. Ooh. It's mail time and the car time. Okay. This is from Purity. Whoa, mm -hmm. whoa. This is for me, this is from Amazon. Are you gonna open that one? I don't have any way to open it. We really need to keep a box knife in here. Mm -hmm. This, this, this package is, it contains the most wasteful thing that I do in my life. It's gloves. I use these for cleaning, especially because I have, um, you know, eczema. Is that what I have? Mm -hmm. Uh, and so washing my hands like more than like once a day basically guarantees that they're that my hands are gonna like freak out and like um, crack and bleed and just be terrible. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh yeah, it is a ton of their. Well, I'm just holding them for you. It's a ton of their You're new so sheet masks. You're so sad. Why are you so sad today? So there's four different ones and there's three of each. And I believe these are all vegan. Was, I'm super excited about that. I was trying that. to hold them up for you while you oh, talked about them. I didn't know that. I didn't know they did sheet masks. They is this new? They came out this week. Should we do one right now while we drive home and like freak people out? No. Okay. I don't think that we'll get the full benefits. All right. Of uh, freaking people out or of those? Of the mask. Do, do we know who this one's from? Do we know who this is? No. We get sent a lot of random packages and we don't like to talk about the ones that aren't cruelty free. And so that's one of the things about opening these up live is that we're not sure. Oh yeah, okay. We're not sure so if we can talk about them. from Volition Beauty, which is cruelty free. This is vegan. It is their stretch mark minimizer. I have really bad stretch marks. I don't think I've ever talked about that, but I used to weigh significantly more than I do now and when I lost the weight I was left with tons of stretch marks on my thighs and my butt okay hold on and I'm sensitive about you're make okay I get that you're sensitive about it which is why you're making it sound so intense but first of all you didn't weigh significantly more it was like 20 or 30 pounds that's a fair amount more yeah I guess I guess for your amount that's a pretty for how much you weigh that's a really big percentage yeah I'm just saying it's not you it's not like you had like a like a you know You weren't like really really overweight or anything. No, no, I wasn't overweight. It's just I lost the weight very quickly And now I have stretch marks. You had stretch marks before you lost the weight though. I remember mm. But also your stretch marks are not like you're like I have a really bad. They're not that bad okay. Like I forget that you even have them. Mm, I'm super sensitive about them. I get so. it cuz it's your body I'm just yeah. I just want to make it clear that like First of all, there's nothing wrong with stretch marks or no. weighing more or weighing less. No, 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 but like also I also you have such a beautiful little body. Mm, thank you. Is all I'm trying to say. Yeah, I get it No, I just also think too if there's something that you are sensitive about it's okay to Do something about it. I'm really excited about this package because it's from elf and I know what's in it. Can I open it? Uh, you want to open uh, it? Okay. No, I was gonna say I don't think we can show what's in it. This, why? Um, this isn't going live for a while. Okay. When when can we show this? I don't know because they haven't picked a date yet. All right. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cute. It is from Becca Cosmetics. Ooh, did you order it or did they send it to they you? They sent it, and okay. it's just one of their ultimate coverage complexion creams. It's a foundation. I used to really really love this. Um, so when they were like, hey, do you want one? I was like, yes, please. I haven't used that in forever. I still have my old tube, so I shouldn't say I haven't used it in forever. Well, this one, we know what that is. Ah, uh, this is coffee from Time. Oh, you're gonna be so excited about this one. What is it? I don't want to show you yet. You're gonna, you're gonna lose your shit. You're gonna be so stoked. Aw, uh, Sam. Thanks for the shout outs on IG Twitter. Ha, <laughs> that's cool. I got my coffee from Timeless. I really like the way. I can't get it out. Can of we this just box. talk about? You opened this box like you're trying to stuff a pinata. <laughs> there was already a tear there, so I figured Here. path of least resistance. If you like coffee, order from Timeless. Just trust me. Oh my God! I don't think you're gonna want to open this box. I, right now, I think you're gonna want to open this on the main channel because look what it is. <gasps> 
I, uh, yeah, I should open it on Instagram stories. I know, you get but you want to see what's in it so badly, I don't do, you? I do, but I'll wait. I hope this guy doesn't back into us with his Porsche. Big Porsche butt. His big Porsche butt. <sighs> wow, that was fun. Yeah. That was exciting. Yeah. Yeah. How's your morning so far? It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of slow. It's been a lot of start and stop. How's yours? It's been fine. I haven't really done much mm. so far. It's almost one, and I really haven't got anything done today. Other than coming here and doing this, basically all I did was, like, eat breakfast and look at the, the cat and the kittens living in the backyard. Yeah. You didn't even eat breakfast, really. You had, like, two bites. Yeah. So tonight though is our second influencer meetup, which I completely dropped the ball on. I didn't create a Facebook event for it. Mm. And I didn't create any asset for Tashina to post on Instagram promoting the meetup until this morning. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like me and you and Hannah. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I mean, it's awesome, Hannah's great. Um, and she's gonna be late, so. We'll just hang out. Yeah. I think though that that's kind of the trick with um, meetups is that you just have to keep doing them consistently. Yeah. And eventually people will show up. Yeah. Also, I was thinking about this and tell me what you think. I was thinking that maybe it would be cool to reach out to other locations to see if they wanna host us, like mm. other wineries, yeah. like, like especially, now that we have, like, we're getting to know more friends that work at different wineries, like, maybe we could talk to Claire about doing it at Kuvisan. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I was also thinking that maybe we could have James. James is the photographer that you just saw the vlog with him in it. If we could do, like, a photography workshop with James. Hmm, yeah, that could be cool. I, I think he would be down, like, where everybody can bring their camera, and, like, maybe we would host it at like a really picturesque, like really place that lends itself well to photo ops. Yeah. And like James could be there with his gear and he could do like a Q&A and talk about his gear and like answer questions and then like help people figure out how to use their cameras and like take photos and stuff. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, it's a rad idea. Yeah, because I want these meetups to grow into something more collaborative and like really foster content creation instead of just people hanging out who happen to be influencers or content creators. I really yeah. want the meetups to be about content creation and, and influencing, so yeah. that's what I'm thinking. I think that sounds good. You sound good. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Okay. We just finished, uh, what did we just finish doing? We just finished filming a try-on video. Mm -hmm. Tashina bought a bunch of clothes and we shot a video in the living room. Uh, I can't go wide enough with this lens to show you the whole experience here, but there's a couch there, there's a couch there. It's just, it's weird. It's, it's very full. Yeah, I just did a post on Instagram about how, for me, content creation is like about doing the best you can with what you have. Mm -hmm. And especially at this particular point in our life, that's like totally, totally true. Yeah, very, very true. Uh, now we're gonna get ready and go to the meetup. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fun, I think. Yeah. I mean, I know it will be. I was Let's gonna go. Say, I think we should make some food. Oh. Let's go. Let's go! It's so difficult. You're like, oh. Alright, so we're, we're here. <laughs> eh. We're here at our second ever influencer meetup. And Hannah is, uh, what are you doing? I'm trying wine to see if I can figure out which one's Cab and which one's Syrah. Yeah, I ordered a Cab and a Syrah and I wanted to quiz Hannah, so... I'm still keeping them on the same side also. Alright, okay. So you're pretty sure that one is... Cab, yeah. The Cab, okay. And you're pretty sure this one is the Syrah, I'm pretty then, sure. I guess. Yeah, I mean, we those are the only two. These are the only options you gave me, but yeah. All right, final, final answer. That's your final answer? Mm -hmm. Is it incorrect? It's okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yes. Good job. That's awesome. Oh, nice. we should have had you guess so too. Bad. Yeah. Just I for was fun. actually going to guess the opposite based on looks. The color? Well, yeah. This is so much darker. Yeah, this is a light cap. That's super yeah. weird. But 
it tastes Gabby and this tastes Sarai. I don't know. <laughs> awesome. I'm very bad at figuring out the descriptors. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Me too. now which one is Ooh, the white wine? What kind wine? of white wine is that? Smell it and tell us. No, you tell us. I mean, it should be Chardonnay because that's the only one they well, have right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know because it's what you ordered. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. cheating. <laughs> it's good though. I don't usually like Chardonnay, but I like theirs. It's like green apple and crisp. Do they oak it a lot? Is it like medium oak? I'd say like medium. Okay. Maybe just a touch. Yes. Touch of oak. Touch of oak. Yeah. <laughs>